Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are running joist and we're framing up this deck. All their beams and posts are set in place. So I'm doing layout on the beams. The guys are starting to run some joists and they're also doing some pressure blocking and adding brackets as needed. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow along, hit that bell icon, and don't forget to comment and like this video. Thanks for watching, let's get it on. Hey guys, wanted to introduce you to the newest member of our team. His name is Austin. Hello, AKA, Austin. How you doing? AKA Deck Wiz. Yep. Yep. If you go onto our Instagram page, you can follow him at D E C K W I Z Z. And Austin came all the way from Delaware to come work for us. So uh, moved basically across the country. And now he's here uh, building decks with us. And we're proud to have him. We're happy to have him here and uh, everything's so far so good. So uh, just keep an eye out for Austin. Anyways, we'd like to give Austin a warm welcome. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe below. No, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to uh, leave your comments below. Okay, so you're gonna cut a 45 on it like these. So last week we were able to run most of these joists over here, and now we're starting to work around the house. And so I have been working on the layout for that, and I have that all figured out up to around the other side of the of the house. So Nazi is actually putting in some blocking for over the top of the beam. And Austin is cutting some boards to length that I need done so I can start adding these joists in. And I have a little bit more layout to do around the far corner and then the last part of this deck. So that's hopefully what we're gonna get done today is all the joists set. And then we will start continue blocking and adding uh, support wherever we need it to sturdy this thing up. And then we have some V bracing underneath the deck to do as well. So. That's just uh, the next part of how we're gonna get this deck framed and get it ready for our waterproof bladder. Here I come. On this week's uh, painting with your bro. Aw, oh, you're gonna make me do it. I'm just making little, uh, a little happy on. little cuts here. Um, okay. If you haven't heard, we use Q-Tech. Because as you can see, this little dark area here is where, oh yeah, this is pressure treated incised. Put the volume up. Anyway, um, what it is, is this these punctures here where the treatment is shot through. But as you can see, it only goes in like a quarter inch. So when you cut a piece of lumber, this is all exposed and open to rot and this and that. So we take Q-Tech um, out of Australia and it's a, stain protectant um, essentially is the same thing as what these chemicals are so every time we make a cut just cover it up with Q-Tech that way we're making sure our framing lasts almost as long as our decking we'll see though check back in 50 60 years when I'm dead what's up man what's up you're from Delaware yeah Newark Delaware good old board Delaware what's in Delaware uh, Christiana Mall, Rehoboth Beach. Not too much goes on in Delaware. It's a small state, everybody knows each other. So making this move out here was pretty big for me. Yeah. A lot of people are proud of me. Do you but know the population of Delaware? I wasn't that good in history class. I wish I did though. I think it's uh, maybe in the 500,000 maybe. Oh, so as big as Tacoma basically. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a little more? Yeah. What did you do before this? Um, multiple jobs, but my most recent was I was a business owner. Um, basically general construction. Did a little bit of everything. Inside houses, outside? Uh, outside, inside, but uh, recently I've been doing uh, a lot of fences. And then uh, bathroom, kitchen remodels. This is what I love doing. I only got one or two of these before in my lifetime. So I knew when I got this call, this was something I would love doing. How long were you doing that for? About a year and a half. And before that, I was working for a solar technician, a warehouse, 
trying college out, just going back and forth with things. And how old are you? I'm 25, just turned 25, September 22nd. Nice. So wish me some happy birthdays. You better, in the comments. Right now, stop the video and wish him a happy birthday late. Uh, favorite flavor, flavor? Favorite kind of pizza? <sighs> hmm, I would say pepperoni, keep it classic. Sure, what other kinds of foods do you like? Um, I gotta go with my fiance. Make she makes a mean chicken stir fry. Put some broccoli and carrots in there. Some teriyaki sauce. That's my favorite. Is Delaware like a? I don't know how to describe it. Like you know how the South is like known for cooking seafood. Yeah, a lot of people like crabs out there. A lot of people like striped bass. Yeah, fresh fish. That's what my brother likes. I know he likes that. To be honest, I never had crabs though. I'm more of a chicken tenders, French fries guy. Very classic. Hey, Dad. Yeah. He's never had crab. What? I mean, are you interested in trying it or? Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah, you won't regret it. I heard the cleaning part's the hard part. Well, we don't, we don't do that. Okay, see, there we go. Then I'm all in. Yeah. I'm all we in. We don't do it like that. We can roll it over. Is that how you like it better? Or? Well, just in safer probably. Block man in his natural element. We got blocks here. Measured them out. Had um, deck wheels cut these guys out. We had to cut them. I had to rip it two by ten to make it into a two by four because this deck is being uh, waterproofed and we're using our EPDM bladder. The bladder, when it goes in between the joists, it kind of sits like a U shape like this. So you don't want to block up too high, constricting the flow. So I ripped these down so that way they'll sit right on top of these, hopefully. And yeah, block tricks. So I like to have one nail in first, kind of anchor this guy in, and then also hit it hammer so that way I can go back here and sometimes these joist hangers are a little uh, I don't know they need to be beaten into submission so um, it's always important to get the bottom of the joist hanger tight with our joist because otherwise it serves no purpose and then that way once I got this anchored I can go to the other side hit the other prong in and then I'm ready to blam away so let's see how this works. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. And also uh, comment below and like our videos. We really appreciate that. We like it when you do. Thanks for watching. Over and out.